Oh my god, I gotta find this thing. Okay, okay, oh, 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 well, it's, it's quite complicated. It's, it's through the uh, storage uh, on a secondary recording media of, 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 of a hierarchical data mass. Now look, it's not quite that easy, but it's not quite that complicated either. There's several ways that a computer can store data, all in what we call media. The trusty old floppy disk, tapes, CD, DVD, the hard drive. CD and DVD drives use lasers to write onto the mirrored surface. Now the thing that the floppy drive and the tapes and the hard drive have in common is that they store information magnetically. The hard drive disks spin around and the little heads right here go across the surface of the disk and write magnetically. The hard disk platter is divided into tracks. These tracks are then divided into pie-shaped sections called sectors. Each of the sectors is then divided into blocks. Now you might have noticed in the hard drive that we looked at, it had more than one platter. Inside the hard drive, we have file folders. Inside each of those file folders are files. The hard drive can contain many folders, as many as you want to make, until you run out of room. We have software and documents. There's the operating system or the system software and there are applications or the programs. The last kind of files that we have on a computer are documents. Those are the things that you actually make with the software program. But don't take my word for it. Hey, read the flipping manual!